Hello and welcome to Daily Reflection with Anil Arana. Today is the 5th of September 2019. We're going to reflect on Luke chapter 5 verses 1 to 11. Once while Jesus was standing beside the lake of Gennesareth and the crowd was pressing in on him to hear the word of God, he saw two boats there at the shore of the lake. The fishermen had gone out of them and were washing their nets. He got into one of the boats, the one belonging to Simon, and asked him to put out a little way from the shore. Then he sat down and taught the crowds from the boat. When he had finished speaking, he said to Simon, Put out into the deep water and let down your nets for a catch. Simon answered, Master, we have worked hard all night long, but have caught nothing. Yet if you say so, I will let down the nets. When they had done this, they caught so many fish that their nets were beginning to break. So they signaled their partners in the other boat to come and help them. And they came and filled both boats so that they began to sink. But when Simon Peter saw it, he fell down at Jesus' knees, saying, Go away from me, Lord, for I am a sinful man. For he and all who were with him were amazed at the catch of fish that they had taken, and so also were James and John, sons of Zebedee, who were partners with Simon. Then Jesus said to Simon, Do not be afraid. From now on you will be catching people. When they had brought their boats to shore, they left everything and followed him. The Gospel of the Lord. For something a little different today, let me tell you a story. It's the story of Francis de Sales. Francis was born in Savoy, France in 1567 to a very wealthy family. By the age of 24, he had become a doctor of law, and although he was successful, he kept feeling this urge to become a priest. When he finally shared the calling with his family, they were very disappointed, especially his father, who wanted him to become a great man of the world, but God won, and Francis did become a priest. Soon thereafter, he was posted to the Chablais region in southeastern France. Chablais had been largely Protestant, converted by John Calvin. There was a Catholic presence in the region, but the hatred of Catholics was so intense it was a dangerous place to be in. In fear of his life, Francis would travel at night to move across the region. He would often be thrown out of his lodgings and made to sleep out in the open at the mercy of the elements. On one occasion, a local farmer set his dogs on Francis, and the poor man had to spend the night in a tree secured by his belt. He didn't face a warm reception from the few Catholics that lived in the town either. During one of his homilies, not liking what he was saying, the whole congregation walked out in tandem. Many times he celebrated Mass to an empty church. Yet, through all of this, Francis kept his cool and continued to minister to people with patience and perseverance. Four years into his ministry, People slowly began to be won over by this kind and gentle man, and a slow trickle of people began to return to the church. Within a few months, the trickle had turned into a stream and then a flood, and by the time Francis died, almost the entire population of Chablais had become Catholic again. The number was 60,000, from zero to 60,000. That's a huge catch, don't you think? If we wish to bring people to the faith, we need to understand that it is not going to be an easy task. We will face a lot of opposition, many times from people within the church itself who don't seem to fully understand that the goal is building God's kingdom and not our own, and therefore engage in destructive petty politics. We have to be patient and loving with such people and with everybody else who persecutes us, believing that God can work the same miracle through us that he worked through Francis. And therefore, we need to keep persevering. If we do not catch fish when we throw our nets into the water, let us keep throwing them in until we do.